look, listen, or don't. I don't fucking know. I know that I look like shit, but I'm currently working on it. I'm currently fucking working on it. So shut your fucking trap. Love you. Um, anyways, I don't know if I'm manic, but I might be. And I know what you're thinking. Shay, how the fuck could you not know if you're manic or not? Well, let me tell you how. Bitch. Uh, so I talked to my therapist this morning. It was really weird. He called me out of the blue. He called me this morning and he was like, hey, just wondering how you are. And I was like, do you fucking follow me on social media and see the abnormal amount of possum memes that I shared on Instagram this morning? Is that where this call is coming from? I don't know. Uh, but he did call me and we talked for about 45 minutes and I'm supposed to go see my psychiatrist in a few days because I uh, started a new medication. Now, this new medication is an antipsychotic slash mood stabilizer slash antidepressant that's made specifically for people who are bipolar and or have schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder like I do. And um, I don't know if my medication is causing this or if I'm fucking manic. I haven't slept. I have not fucking slept and I can't sleep. I've tried. I've had plenty of fucking opportunities to and I can't. I gave up on sleep at about 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, I gave up on sleep. 10 a.m. rolled around and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm getting up. I'm working on my Depop. I'm going to go around the house. I'm going to gather shit up for our yard sale. I'm going to clean things. I'm going to open and close the same four apps 50,000 fucking times. I'm going to choke down some food and then I'm going to try to nap again and then I'm going to be super fucking unsuccessful. Yeah. The reason that I don't know if I'm manic is because um, I don't have insomnia. I have something called circadian ry rhythm upset, which means that I swing wildly between sleeping too much and not sleeping at all. And I might just be having a not sleeping at all phase. Um, one reason that I don't think that I'm manic is usually when I'm manic, I end up like frivolously spending money and, and shit like that. And I'm like super mean and agitated and whatnot. Um, that's not me right now. But also, I, I'm, I, I was telling my therapist this morning. I am a little worried that I can't tell if I'm manic or not because one thing that my psychiatrist loves about me is that I'm super fucking self-aware. I know when I'm not feeling good and I know what's going on and I'm like, oh my God, am I about to be one of those people that becomes blind to the symptoms, you know? Honestly, like the whole like working a lot on my Depop, uh, spring cleaning, um, you know, organizing this yard sale, things like that. Things like that. Um, I could chalk up to the, to the medication. The not sleeping thing, though. The not sleeping and functioning without sleep is the thing that's making me feel a little fucking iffy. Uh, and I asked my therapist, do people get manic and not know that they're manic? And he was like, most people can tell. And I'm like, okay, so... What are we going to do if this medication's making it so that I can't sleep? Because, <laughs> I, like, well, and, and the other thing is, the other thing is, I'm so good at words. I'm so good with words. I'm so good with making fucking sentences with my mouth. I, I have trouble sleeping all the time. I have, like, I have been having trouble sleeping um, for a long time, but I don't, and, and I will go to sleep if I take sleep medication and I'm not manic. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Um, but I'm going to try it tonight because I have that ultrasound on my liver in the morning. I want to get good sleep. I got to be there walking through the fucking door at 730 in the morning. Ultrasound is supposed to start at eight. So that means that I have to leave my house very early because it's several towns over in a completely fucking different state. So I'm like, oh, good. Oh, yay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm very thankful. Uh, that I get to do this. It's something that not a lot of people get to do. But anyways, um, 
I, I am planning on trying uh, sleeping medication tonight, which is something that I haven't done yet. I don't like to take sleeping medication. It doesn't matter what kind it is. It doesn't matter if it's the lowest fucking dose, most mild shit in the world. It will make me tired for like two full fucking days after I take it. Um, it makes me very, very lethargic. Two days might be a bit of a stretch. It's more like a day. <laughs> it's more like the whole day after that. Um, so I don't like to take it. I don't like to take it unless I absolutely have to. And I just take like the CVS over the brand, uh, over the counter, uh, sleeping medication, CVS brand shit. Oh my God, words. <laughs> I just started a load of laundry. It's really, really, really nice out. I kind of want to go outside and just be outside. I kind of want to go outside and just be outside, but I also need to wash my face. I've got pure retinol cream on it. And, you know, that shit will uh, fry you like a goddamn pancake if you're, if you're not careful with it in the sun. You like how my fucking... Listen! Listen, guys. The amount of people that have said shitty things to me on TikTok, because oftentimes when I make a TikTok, my horns line up perfectly with my head because they, that's where my tapestry is. It's not on purpose. There's no fucking conspiracy theory. That's just because that's where my tapestry is and that's where I'm sitting. The amount of people who have said the dumbest fucking shit... When I tell y'all satanic panic is not fucking over... I mean it. I mean it. Guys, we gotta talk about something. I gotta tell you something. I get people all the time that tell me not to wear hats because hats are the biggest giveaway that you're wearing a wig. I gotta tell you though, I gotta tell you, I think the biggest giveaway that I'm wearing a wig is that today my hair is pink with uh, black roots and yesterday it was white and the day before that it was purple and the day before that it was red and the day before that, it was blue. I don't even know if it's going to be pink an hour from now. And I don't know what color it's going to be tomorrow. I think that might be the biggest giveaway that I'm wearing a wig. I know that a lot of people struggle with like feeling embarrassed about wearing wigs, but I don't. I don't care. I was raised by a really superstitious mom who would tell me that if there was a cardinal near that it meant that there was a loved one near, like a loved one that's passed near. And there's one happening in front of my house. That starling was bullying the cardinal, you little dick. I think I have a bigger mustache than you. I'm starting to grow one. Me too. What do I do? Be careful, baby. Those have been on all day. I don't want you to burn your hand. I'm just switching these light bulbs out. My problem is, I'm. you want a mustache, don't you? Yeah, because I'm turning 12 this year. But do you want a mustache? You don't need a mustache just because you're 12. No, that's better. But I, my, the problem is that you want a mustache because I don't know, maybe you want to be like daddy or maybe you want, maybe you want to just, I don't know, have a mustache. But I don't want to have a mustache. And I can't get rid of it. I just, just there. What do I do? Do you want mine? Uh, I don't know. It's, I think it's growing until it's done. But when it's done, do you want it? No, I don't want it because you But you don't, why don't you want mine? It's a perfectly good one. <laughs> Did you say because you can grow your own? Did you? What? Did you say you don't want my mustache because you can grow your own? Yeah. I think you're rejecting it because it's used. You don't want my mustache because it's a used mustache. And it's a perfectly good mustache. I know it is. Hi guys, it's me. Me. I'm fucking heavy breathing. From how tired I am, I'm heavy breathing. I just got Microsoft Game Pass because D came home from his dad's and his dad got him uh, Minecraft. And he wanted to go back to his dad's tomorrow because his dad got a fucking, his dad got a fucking interview. 
Christ, it's about time. And I was like, I'll do you one better. I'll get you damn Microsoft Game Pass for $10 a month and you see all these little green bars? You can play all them bitches for free. And that includes me too because it's my account. Predominantly it includes me because it's my account. I'm very excited because uh, Stardew Valley is on it, is on Game Pass. And I already own it on Steam, but now I can play it on my laptop in my bed without having to log into my Steam account and fight my children for it because they also use my Steam account. Full disclosure, guys, I'm not feeling too good. I'm not feeling too good. I'm heavy. <laughs> I'm fucking heavy breathing from how tired I am. I love life. But basically, as soon as D walked through the door, E's dad showed up and was like, I'm going to take him to IHOP. And then he saw D and he was like, hey, do you want to go? And D was like, yes. So now I'm sitting here staring at the wall with no children and not knowing what to do when I absolutely could just go to sleep. I could just go, I could just go to sleep, but we all know I'm not very good at doing what's best for me. Sometimes I do. But I always feel guilty about it uh, on the occasion that I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have my liver ultrasound at the butt crack of dawn. I got to be at the hospital at the ass crack of dawn. And I'm so fucking excited to sleep because I feel like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and, and feel like a brand new, fresh, wonderful, amazing fairy princess. You know that feeling when you sleep and you don't feel like shit? That's feeling like a wonderful, beautiful, amazing, fresh fairy princess. Those are the words that you were never able to find. I found them for us both. I just want to feel rested so bad. I want to feel rested so fucking bad. I just want to go to sleep and stay asleep and then wake up and just not feel like shit. I think what I'm going to do, though, is go ahead and take my sleeping medicine and relax and not push myself to film a 20-minute vlog because I really need sleep. And I know you guys understand that. I know you're understanding about that type of stuff. And tomorrow is going to be a busy day, but I'm going to handle it well because I'm going to be well-rested, right? Right? Bring that ass over here, bitch. Did you like that song? I made it up. It's going to be a fucking hit on Spotify. Watch for it. Note to self, copyright that shit. Did I sit there and not take my medicine for another half hour after I said that I would? Yeah, because I forgot where I was. And now I'm ready to go to sleep. Now I'm ready to go to bed. And there's shit all over my bed. Because I was ripping through my clothes, sorting things. And I love, I look, I love that. Don't look at my wig lace. It's almost like I'm wearing a wig and there's lace on it. But I really, really love when I spend the day absolutely destroying my bed with clothes and makeup and just random shit. And then I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep. And I'm like, oh, so this means that I'm going to have to spend like 12 fucking hours cleaning all of this up. And by 12 hours, I mean like three minutes, but same fucking thing right now. It all feels the same. It all feels like hell. It's like torture, you know? I'm not, I, I, I know I'm not alone in that, but also like, do you ever outgrow it? Is there anybody over the age of 34 that ever outgrew this? Yeah? Please tell me. Yes, there is. I don't even know what the fuck that all is. A lot of clothes, a laptop, a hat cameras you would think i had a productive day i kind of did kind of didn't kind of did kind of didn't i don't fucking know why i will not absolutely ever learn i won't i i it's it's not on the list of things that it that's ever gonna fucking happen for me it's just not on the list of shit that's ever gonna go my way i love life i love the being an adult and being responsible. I'm definitely responsible. Look at me being responsible. This is my vitamins, by the way. Don't start no shit. I just said out loud that I needed to wash my teeth and brush my face so I can go to sleep. Um, I just, I think that 
that the universe, I think it hates me and it likes to watch me look stupid. I think that it's like, hey, <laughs> fuck you. That's okay though. Why are you so bright? Chill out. Whatever. Tell me that's not the best sound in the fucking world. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, hold. Oh. Ah. I'm so fucking tired. My eyes are rolling. My eyes are rolling. I'm going to put that at the end of the bed and Epps can get it whenever he gets old. By the way, I hate when this pillow is visible because it looks gross. It's like this like $75 pillowcase that came with all this fancy matching shit that I got in a boxy charm a couple of years ago. And I was like, major fucking mistake sending me white silk pillowcases. It will be destroyed in two to three days max with makeup. And guess what? It fucking was. It's really comfortable, but it's quite uh, nasty looking. But also, but also I was going to say, I feel like the world can tell. I feel like the universe can tell whenever I'm so tired that staying awake any longer feels like psychological torture. Because every time that happens, my phone will not stop fucking ringing. It's either my brother or uh, my ex-husband. And in tonight's case, it was my ex-husband. And I didn't have no choice but to pick up because he has D and he had a question about D's pump. So he has a pump too, but he doesn't have an Omnipod. So yeah, I had to pick up. Anyways, I'm terrified that I'm going to go to upload this and it's not going to export and upload and all that shit. And I'm going to be asleep and not even know it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of YouTubers, myself included, are having trouble with uploading videos like yesterday. It took my fucking video about over an hour to fucking upload and normally I can get one up in like 20 minutes or less. I have to go to sleep now. I am fighting it so hard. I feel like a fucking baby. I feel like a fucking toddler. Like, you know what I mean? that experience when you're you're looking at your baby or you're looking at your toddler and you're like I promise you right now I promise you with everything in me I'm not trying to punish you by making you go to sleep I'm not trying I'm not being mean to you right now I promise you you will feel so good and so much better if you just go the fuck to sleep Samuel L. Jackson uh reads a book called go the fuck to sleep <laughs> And it's about that. But anyways, I don't think I can stay awake any longer. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, boy. <laughs> Hopefully I can get some answers at the ultrasound. But I don't think so. Techs aren't really supposed to or allowed to tell you anything. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Boy, I, what is that? It's bugging the shit out of me. Is it part of the blanket? Oh, it is. It's part of the design. It's bothering the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck? Anyways. Boy.